guys uh, sandeep here from learn tech uh, in today's video uh, we will see a uh, filter guides so uh, before going on to the filter guides let me give you a scenario here so in this uh, you can see i have a form here and on the form there is one table so in this particular uh, table uh, the data is coming from a different form and then i have the record the per students we can see here the roll number is uh, let's suppose this is a roll number and based on the roll number the table is loaded with the subjects of the student now the functionality which we have developed here is so now when i try to modify this record or try to save it here so we can see what will happen so let me show you okay so now i have saved this record so you can see it has calculated me the total marks total marks means this one so um, this is a sum of all the uh, marks scored by a student uh, for that particular subject so it is the sum of all the marks scored by a particular student so with roll number this one now um, uh, this is my total marks which is 305 and similarly i have this um, like out of marks that means this is the maximum marks which a student can uh, score and this is the score he has actually got in the examination so now uh, what i have done um, with the when i am modifying the record it basically calculated me total marks and it also calculated me the marks out of that means it gave me some of this column here and also uh, some of this column in this particular field now i want to calculate a percentage so i will click on this button so it gave me this percentage of 76 percent so this is just a simple functionality now I will explain you how we have um, achieved it using filter guides. So let me show you my developer studio. Okay, what I have done here, there are basically two filters which are some total marks. So what it will do, it has a set field action. Let me just expand it. okay okay before going on to this uh, let me open the uh, student form okay so let's see the code here so before going on to the code let me open up the table or the form so this is my form which we have seen here so this is my form and I have this table and um, I have added this um, table and it basically represents uh, represents data from a, a different form now let's go to the uh, filters now uh, to do the calculation I have these two filters first of all uh, the filter is this uh, total calculation of total marks which is this one so what I have done here I have just written a set field action there is uh, it is associated with the student table there is no run if or any execution option because we are executing it in a guide so it has does not have any execution option then here what I have done in the set field action this total marks field which is this one I am just doing an addition to this field with the uh, you know marks underscore table field which is this one so what it will do every time it will run it will it will do the addition of existing value in total marks plus the value in the in this particular column okay so similarly for markup uh, sorry mark out, out of field it is it is doing the same operation for uh, the fields this one marks out of table which is this one it is doing the same operation just adding the uh, value now we will see how we can run this on each row of table and how it will do the calculation so now what I have done I have created a filter guide which is this one sorry this this is the filter guide so here what I have done you have to just when you create a new filter guide you have to just give it a name I have just created it um, before but in, in case you want to create a new filter guide you have to just click here new filter guide then you have to add the form on which it should execute so my form is student underscore table I will add that then in filter and label you have to just right click and add the filters as I have um, already uh, created the filters yeah but uh, when you are um, 
creating a guide you have to add you have to create the filters first before adding them here then in this i will you have to just click on add filters okay there is some issue here okay let me go here yeah here also i can do right click add filters then um, it will give you a list of the filters you can search your filters and add it here so if you see i have already added these two filters total sum and the sum of marks okay and then save it that's it now how we can call this guide so again it can be called from a filter so which is this filter so this filter executes on modify condition what it will do it will just there is an action you have to right click here then add action then this operation you have to use call guide okay this is the filter guide which we have uh, created and in this you have to mention the name of the guide so you can select it from here click here and then search for the guide so our guide name is student underscore guide which i already added now now the most important thing is this part which is table loop now we are running this particular guide on a table um, rows so i have to select the table also so here if you click here you will be able to search the tables on that particular form so my table is student table which is this table this is the name of the table student table and here in my guide if i go here again i have added this now uh, there is one more option called table loop so currently um, if you say none it will not traverse through all the table rows if you say all rows that means this particular guide will run on each and every record or each and every row of the table so this is what i need basically i need to calculate here sum of all the rows which is this one this one this one and this one so i need to create a sum of all the rows what i will do in my guide i will say all rows so when my guide will run it will basically run these two filters and will sum up the values let's suppose this total marks it will sum up first it will say 0 plus the first row which is this one 80 then it will store 80 in here in total marks again it will go to this record it will store 80 plus 65 in this again uh, the added up sum will be added to 75 and then 85 similarly we'll do the same operation to marks out of and then we will get this number and then you will get this result here in the in this particular these two fields so this um, uh, basically helps us to create a loop uh, on the table and we can traverse through all the rows of the table and do the operation so you can have a number of different operations where you want to basically create a loop you want to traverse through the rows of the data or any other thing where you want to create an um, you know loop uh, to execute that particular functionality so you can use a filter guide so uh, please note that filters are basically server objects they run on on server side so in case of any validation or any client side validation we do not need filters we used to we do it through active links through active link guides or active links but in if the operation is on server based especially if this is done through an um, yeah, int integration or if there are no human interventions then we normally use filters because in that case active links will not work so uh, this guide let me go to the right so this guide will uh, when it will be called it will be executed on each row of the, of the um, table and give you the exact result this calculation which i have done this is just an active link i have used to calculate the percentage this is just for example i have written an active link on this button which will do the uh, which will divide this divided by this into 100 and will give you the percentage here in the field so this is how actually the uh, this is the basic understanding of filter guides there are different you know uh, ways it can be used and there are different operations in filter guide also and we will have a detailed um, you know uh, overview of those operations also but this was just a basic understanding of how the filter guides work and how they basically help you in creating a loop in bmc remedy thank you